Hi, I'm Larry from Way Out One. I've been reselling for over 30 years. I've been reselling on eBay for over 20 years. Today I have the top 10 items I sold in July of 2022. I hope you find some stuff that you can use in the future for when you're out shopping. Uh, let's get to it. All right, here we go. The 10th highest item we sold in July was this autographed Dale Earnhardt Jr. car. I had bought a group of seven of these in early June, and I have sold four out of the seven for a total of $337. I originally paid $145 for all of them, and I still have three listed for around $270, no, $280. Ninth highest item I sold was these set of according to jim dvds uh it's seasons two three and five uh, they sold for ninety dollars i paid six dollars for the three of them or two dollars for each set uh, this is definitely one of those that you should be on the lookout for um, highly highly desirable seventh highest or eighth highest item i sold was this uh, Star Wars 1981 Slave One. It's Boba Fett ship, has Han and Carbonite. I paid $5 for this at a estate sale and it sold within a week of listing it. This is a rock band drum set with the pedal, the dongle, drumsticks, and it sold for $100. No, it sold for $95. I took an offer and <clears throat> it was listed for four days. A enormous lot of stamp them up stamp sets, uh, wooden back rubber stamps. I bought this at a garage sale for $40. Um, and it had been listed for six weeks but i think it sat around for well over a month before i listed it because it was just such a pain in the tush to list to be honest and when i bought it i kind of bought it because i'd seen lonnie buy some stamp it ups at one point in time did very well with them but i looked up a bunch of these and they just weren't worth that much money individually I just decided i was going to try and sell it double my money and be happy with it and uh, i sold it for 100 i had it originally listed for 150 but I was just happy to move it on. It was a gigantic box. And just, again, happy to get the space back. Speaking of something that also took up a lot of space was <clears throat> this Turk and Surf electric indoor countertop kettle for seafood and turkey. Uh, I purchased this at a private pick. I paid $15 for it. It had been listed for four months. Uh, and again, it was a gigantic box. I was super happy to see it go. And it sold for the 100 that I had it listed for. Nope, I took an offer. Um, I think I had it listed for one and a quarter, 130. But again, just super happy to get it out, out of the house. Was listed for a day. Uh, I picked this up. We traveled an hour away to a citywide garage sale. And when we got there, there was only seven houses that were having garage sales. Not a good trip. <laughs> got up super early and traveled to get there at 7 a.m. And then when we got there, we found like two garage sales. At the second one, I found this uh, Floby uh, home cutting, hair cutting system. It was sitting underneath a table and I asked how much it was. And they said, oh, it's free. Uh, so when we're going back to the car, I said, Sharon, I, I don't know if we're going to make any money today, but we're at least making a hundred bucks because this is going to sell for a hundred, which is what it sold for. I think I had it listed for like 120, um, but it sold within a day of me listing it. And then uh, we did end up buying a few more things uh, at a, a small flea market that was uh, involved with the citywide garage sale. Um, otherwise, it had been a horrible, horrible trip. We picked up like 200. CDs and DVDs for 20 bucks. Uh, but otherwise, it was a really bad trip. <laughs> the 
This, on the other hand, was a few miles from my house at a garage sale and was new in box. It is a planter plant pole, tension pole. Uh, it's got four arms for holding four different plants. The best way I can describe this, if you've ever seen some of those houses or if you're old enough, you'll remember the little uh, pole lamps that were in everybody's living rooms or TV rooms uh, in the 60s and 70s. And it's sort of like that, except you put plants on it. Uh, this is brand new in box. Uh, I had it listed for 130 and I think I took an offer of 110 uh, but it, it sold within a day of being listed. This was the third highest item that we sold. Uh, had it listed for... No, second highest item that we sold. Uh, had it listed for uh, 40 days. Had a lot of comp, uh, emails and uh, communication on it. I had paid uh, $25 for it at a garage sale. Somebody had used it in some sort of photo shoot. Um, they had bought it just for the photo shoot. Um, it had a few minor issues with it. Um, it did have some cracks in it. Uh, it did work. It had the original box. And I took an offer of 160 Number one item that I sold in July was this Kenwood GE 7030 Equalizer. I had it listed for a day. I paid $15 for it at a garage sale. And it sold for $175. Uh, pretty good turnaround. Vintage electronics are really good. I know they're kind of a pain in the butt to pack and ship, and you need to test them. But I've made a lot of money on electronics. Uh, it's definitely something that I don't think you should sleep on. Um, again, it does take a little bit. I have a nice setup. Uh, I think I showed in my one of my videos on how my basement set up, on how I test equipment, and just having a spot where you can imme immediately come in, set something up, and do the testing just makes it so much easier. Hope you enjoyed the video. What was the highest price item that you found in July or that you sold in July? Thanks a lot for checking out the video. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't notice, I got two members of Gypsy to sign my Super JM77 poster. So I have all of Head East, three members of REO Speedwagon. Um, I don't have uh, Ted Nugent's autograph on there, but I do have Ted Nugent's autograph right there. You just need some Judas Priest autographs. And I'll